Let's go back to AI. It's it's become something that's sitting there almost every day in the news, and the concerns coming from the experts. It's not coming from, you know, people concerned about as we we should be um, the erosion of jobs in in the white collar class. Automation, as I keep saying, is about working class jobs. Um, AI is about white collar jobs. Um, statements out today: Harvard University, Google, and MIT issued a statement saying mitigating the risk of extinction extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. What are we doing about it? You know, it, you're right that this is reaching a fever pitch mm -hmm. and it seems like from all corners this discussion is happening. Uh, it sounds incomprehensible, but I would say it's a it's a real threat. I couldn't assign a probability to it, Peter, because it's just, we, we can't comprehend you know, what that could mean. But at its core, what AI is saying is it's an independent, self-perpetuating form of intelligence. That's what it is, where the machine can learn by itself. And there's nothing, it's not inconceivable to think that it could leap outside of the boundaries or containments that we put around it, and its interests may not always align with our own, that it could even compete with our own. That's kind of what they're saying. Uh, but in terms of what we're doing about it, I just don't see how the regulatory or legislative framework will ever be ahead of the game. The incentives, the natural order of technological advancement uh, is just too lopsided on the other side. So I think this thing, the cat, is sort of out of the bag. Um, and we might see something on the margins, but I think just get ready for a, a real disruptive technological change in, in the way society is organized and the way we... And, and Kosh, as I said before, we're still catching up with the internet. I mean, we can't regulate the internet. No. How are we going to deal no. with this one? And rogue human beings, we can deal with them. We can legislate, <gasps> put them in jail, more or less. You know, that there are mechanisms, and eventually biology gets you when you, uh, you know, you die. That's that's the end result for all of us, but not with the machines. And I oh. read something in particular today, Michael, um, about the fact that you know you might have it in a complex um, water purification plant, or it might be AI that's running uh, the, the traffic system in a, in a big city. It'll get to the point where it is so complex that, that parts will break or things will happen, and human beings will not comprehend the complexity of the system in order to fix it. So, so we are making something, it's Terminator-esque, isn't it? We are making something that we will never be able to uh, grapple and hold back with in time. Well, let's hope we can invent a, a part of it in a way that regulates the bad AI. So there's a good AI that's always working in human interests.